What's up everybody, my name is Jeremy Jones and I am back with another video. Today, I'm talking my weekly sneaker rotation, so stay tuned. Hoping one day I'ma get it all right. Brother is engaged, but I started my own life. Yeah, I haven't had a chill day. Really wanna vibe, appreciate the moments. I've been creating not scrolling. Mom and dad still support it. Alright, man, I'm back with another video, man. Before I get too deep into this video, y'all already know what to do. Go and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I make content about sneakers. All right, so let's dive into today's video. Just like I said in the intro, man, I am back with another sneaker weekly rotation, right? Okay, now this it should be week eight to the best of my knowledge. Y'all know this is something new that I'm bringing to the channel and I've been getting a lot of positive feedback. So y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, man. So without further ado, let's just dive right in. Y'all know I pick up right on pretty much where I leave off, which is pretty much Friday of last week. And then we start right over into Saturday. So if y'all aren't signed up for the sold out discord make sure y'all sign up for the sold out discord i will have that pin in the chat because i post uh frequently fit picks up in the sold out discord and just it's just great for good information but without further ado let's just dive in today's video man so right off the rip if y'all haven't seen pretty much my mall vlog right okay when i picked up the air jordan 13 playoffs right okay the kid was pretty much dripped from head to toe, got a lot of positive feedback. So pretty much on Saturday is where I'm picked up, right on on the Jordan 4 cause, right, okay? Now y'all know I picked this shoe up last year. This is kind of like the shoe that Borderline built the channel if you ask the kid, right, okay? Borderline, arguably my favorite sneaker in my collection. One of the shoes that literally gave me a headache the first time I bought it and then the second time it really went through and everything was great so pretty much y'all know I had this I will have a fit pick going on and of course have these on feet um super duper comfortable man to shoe this honestly I'm gonna be keep it 100 this is the first time I wore this shoe since I got it back like last year so I just felt right whenever I was going to pick up those playoff 13s man that I had to be you know in these guys right here the glow in the dark on this is immaculate not over the top but it's definitely good so pretty much just was my Saturday shoe a little bit of dirt on there but you know I can live with that because I wear my sneakers wear your sneakers so pretty much we're gonna move right along to Sunday I pretty much chilled in the crib and none other than the Yeezy slides I may have ran and got like something from like the convenience stores here and there so Yeezy slides pretty much was my Sunday you can pretty much find me on the weekend I'm kind of just chilled unless I just absolutely positively had something to do now arguably this is again I can't stress this enough these slides, in my opinion, change the slide game as far as, as far as comfortability, man. We gotta give Ye his credit. If he was involved in designing these, which I believe he was, you gotta give Ye his credit. Now the downside, I'm gonna say this a hundred times, this shoe is a dirt magnet. So I've seen people in the comment section say that, hey, like I clean these joints pretty much every time I take them off. I would love to be that dedicated, right? I'm gonna just keep it 100. Now, pretty much we're gonna move right along to pretty much Monday, I pulled out again, chilled at the crib, and none other than the Yeezy Onyx Foam Runners. As y'all can see, these are probably gonna be on every one of my weekly sneaker rotation videos because these are my grab and go sneakers by the door where if I know that I'm running to the convenience store and coming right back, then these will be that shoe. So it's either gonna be between these or the Yeezy Slides. I make sure I put them in heavy rotation because again, as much as I love to drip out, I love to be comfortable as well. And these are comfortable, not as comfortable as the Yeezy slides, but it's like Yeezy slides will be super comfortable, and this is the runner up, especially if you have flat feet like the kid. This is a good shoe to have. Now, moving right along, we're gonna go right into Tuesday. Now, I did have a fit pick for this one. I had to definitely go into the office. I had some things to do coming off that pretty much. I believe Monday was a holiday. I believe it was President's Day, but don't quote me on that. But pretty much coming up off a holiday, I had to go up into the office, and then I had to run some errands right out of the office. So I did it, and none of other than the champagne eight boom sheesh man another shooter i really really loved now i know this came as like a champagne pack i know there's a confetti colorway but and again i got a fit pick coming up with this and i did have this in the sold out discord as well shameless plug but a shooter i arguably love the most man this is a shooter i feel like i don't give it enough love right okay now with that being said i can honestly say like this shoe is 
I love eights, and I feel like eights don't get enough love, but this one right here, man, I still got the stuff that actually you peel off on the heel right here. You can see that. Y'all know me. We was discussing this kind of when I did picked up the playoff 13s and I did that on feet. Uh, like, if it's got any little plastic stuff on there, I usually let that joint stay right on, right? Okay, I pretty much don't change it up for the kid, but pretty much this was my Tuesday shoe, and I definitely had a fly pick with these. Rock these with some jeans. Now, I don't know if everybody else does this, but I always keep these little flaps open for whatever reason on the eight. It just feels like, I don't know, naturally more comfortable for me, but I feel like there's no right or wrong way to wear these guys. So this was pretty much my Tuesday shoe. Now, moving right along, we are going into Wednesday. Now, I think, again, I had to step into the office for something else other than that. I think, yeah, today was, uh, this week was pretty much just a steady week. Coming off that holiday break, it just seemed like everybody had something that they needed to be done. So Wednesday, the kids stepped out, and none other than pretty much the Air Jordan 12 Master right okay now fun story about this shoe real quick if you haven't when I I think last time I put or showed this shoe um, pretty much it was whenever I showed y'all my entire sneaker collection now fun fact about this shoe I waited in line for hours when this shoe dropped this was like a first come first serve at Foot Locker right okay and me and my co-worker at the time we pretty much Thought we were gonna be ahead of the game and be there like ahead of everybody. When we got there, it was a line outside the door because we were there before the actual doors was opening, right? Okay, so much so the security guards had to get involved and get everybody kind of somewhat organized. And then, you know, the people who aren't into collecting sneakers, they was wondering, people in the, you know, that's standing around is like, why is everybody outside for this shoe? So pretty much this shoe, I will probably keep in my collection forever just because it's got that memory tied to it. And it's a good all over all black shoe. And I feel like you can't go wrong with it. Fun fact, somebody did post, uh, they were gonna buy a pair and they posted like legit checking purposes up in the Discord. Another thing that you can get, you know, in there. We work together over there as a team. So this was pretty much my Wednesday shoe. Now moving right along, we're gonna go right along to Thursday. I pretty much, I think I had to run some more errands. Actually, I think I had to run to Wally World, AKA Walmart, right? Okay. I I had to pick up some miscellaneous things for the crib. Um, pretty much, I pretty much needed water, right? I'm gonna just keep 100. I drink a lot of water around the clock. But anyway, I stepped out in none other because this was like something I just want to be comfortable walking around in. The Yeezy 350 Zebra guys, right? Okay. The only thing I don't like about this pair, and I forgot which year this is, I probably could just look on the stamp if they have them in here on the date. Now, this one, I believe, yeah, they don't have the date on here like Nike. Oh, yes, they do. Um, no, they actually, oh yeah, uh, 2018. So this is a 2018 pair. So this is the pair that I picked up 2018. Sorry about that, guys. Only thing that I can say, and I think they fixed this over the time, every time they read, because this shoe was restocked several times. I remember when it was that rare hype shoe when it first, first came out. And then once they restocked them, everybody slowly stopped caring for them. But I still got nothing but love for these guys. Now, the only downside that I do got about these on my pair is that yellowing, as you can see, but they still go hard though. They still go hard, but I know the newer pairs, they I think they actually fixed the yellowing on these. So pretty much this was my Thursday sneaker super duper comfortable and something just definitely grab a good like slip in slide shoe right okay y'all know me i'm very selective when it comes to my yeezy now that moves me right along to friday man and i noticed that i kind of kept a theme with this because i'm looking over here to the side of all these uh shoes that i have i didn't really go wild with my colors this week so pretty much for friday had to run some more errands at a different store because i needed just some cleaning supplies for the crib probably telling a little bit too much information but pretty much it's like i you know I definitely have to step outside of the house. But anyway, pretty much for Friday, the kids stepped out of none other than the Air Jordan 11 Concord guys. Now, I believe this is also the 2018 pair as well because I think this is the year that me and Dunks cop these joints for sure. So pretty much I do got the ones with the 23 on the back, but this is the one with the 45, man. Just an iconic shoe. And you know, honestly, I don't wear it enough because this is a high patent leather cut. So. Arguably one of my favorite shoes in the game. You know, I got the 2011 pair and I don't get rid of those either, but honestly, both my pairs look good that, to the point where I'm convinced that I can put on either pair and only other sneaker heads would probably know which pair I got on. Like no shameless plug, but that's just how long I've been in the game. You know, not necessarily too long. I just, I'm not the OG level, but I'm in the middle, right? But pretty much this was my Friday shoe, man. And I gotta be honest, I love these guys to death because honestly, this is one of these like, maybe we can say like, 
I can say maybe panda vibes, but I know that's not what the Concord color truly is because whenever you think of it, what's on that tongue right there. So pretty much still nice overall clean shoe. And I feel like this is arguably always gonna be at the top of the list when you do like probably best sneakers of all times type of list. This shoe will make it somewhere on there guaranteed, at least for me anyway. But pretty much that was my Friday shoe. What do you guys think of my weekly sneaker rotation? Are you enjoying it or not, okay? Now I know I've been keeping things pretty simple, but I did start out with some heat pretty much Saturday, man. But y'all sign off in the comment section if y'all are feeling these. I definitely got way more on the way. Seems like y'all are giving me nothing but a positive feedback, but that's pretty much what I got all for you guys today, man. I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of this thing and stop rambling, man. Y'all be sure to hit that like button it really helps the channel out and if you know consider subscribing I make content about sneakers again my name is Jeremy Jones and thank you for watching and I'm out I'm free.